Hello guys, welcome back to Testing Basics. Today we are doing blazers for the first time in, hmm, well, I haven't done this since I was in Manchester for blazers, so like four years ago I would say. So it's been long overdue to redo this one. Obviously a blazer feels like quite a foreign object to me right now because I don't really get dressed up because I have no reason to be getting dressed up. Um, so wearing them has been fun, but has definitely felt very smart very, very quickly. Anyway, I'll jump straight into it. I've got five, as always, from High Street, two High End. Two of them have been sent to me. I'll make it clear which two as we come to them. Let's start with the most affordable one, which is Weekday at £45. This is 73% viscous, 27% polyamide. Polyamide? Polyamide. Um, I have this in a size 38, which would be one size bigger than my normal size. Um, and this is a black blazer. It's lined like through the sleeves and through the top, but not through the main body. It has quite big shoulder pads, it's a really boxy fit, single breasted, doesn't have any buttons on the cuff, just a split cuff, and has a vent down the back as well. Um, yeah, like I said, it's quite a boxy fit. I think even if you went for your normal size, it would still have quite an oversized feel to it, especially because the shoulder pads are quite prominent, so obviously it just makes it feel a lot bigger from the top down as well. So that's week day at £45. Next up we have Arquette. Oh, just to be clear, all I have some ones in different colours here. All of them except maybe one are available in black. So the Arquette one I have in pistachio green, but they do this exact one in black as well. I just didn't go for it in black because I have two black blazers from Arquette anyway, so I didn't need another one. This one was sent to me. It is £135 and is 100% wool. Again, I've gone for a size up, which means I have a 38. Um, this one is fully lined the whole way through, unlike the um, weekday one. It has some like really nice detailing through the stitches, actually. Uh, a really nice tortoiseshell coloured button, which I like. Again, it's single breasted. I'd say quite a, bit, a fair bit longer in the body than the weekday one. It has split on the sleeves too, rather than buttons, and the vent at the back. It does have shoulder pads, but nowhere near as prominent as the weekday ones. And overall, it's kind of like a... It's a slightly more textured fabric, but it feels more fluid and light than the weekday one. Um, I wouldn't have known it was wool, actually, had I not checked that. One up from there is another one that's gifted. I, that was a significant jump, a £90 jump from weekday to Arquette, thinking about it. Um, I'm looking at a notebook down here, by the way. Um, yeah, I sort of struggled to find many under £100. The world of blazers is rather pricey, it turns out. Um, anyway, one up from there, Massimo Duty at £169. This one was also sent to me. This is 68% um, viscous, 3% elastane, and 29% polyester. Again, this is in 38. This one, I would say size-wise, uh, you should go maybe two sizes up if you want it to feel oversized. This one is slightly fitted. It has, like, you'll see on the cutaway, it's slightly more tailored through the waist, and it definitely seems to make a, quite a big difference to the overall fit of it as well. This one out of all of them feels, if I was working in an office, would feel the most office-y, as it were, um, because it feels really smart. This one is double-breasted um, and is fully lined the whole way through again. Uh, this one has buttons through the cuffs, vent at the back, uh, quite a deep vent at the back, and it has one sleeve inside out. <laughs> um, and shoulder pads, big shoulder pads, similar to the weekday one, but because the weekday one's boxy the whole way down, the shoulder pads on this kind of, oops, sorry guys, accentuate the fittedness through the waist, whereas the weekday one, it just makes it feel more oversized. Um, Fabric-wise, it's very similar in feel to the Arquette one, uh, both of which I would say on just touch alone feel more expensive than the weekday one. That was gifted as well, did I say that? Uh, up from there, the last two I paid for myself is Philippa K. I really love the fitness brand so much. Especially for tailoring, I really wanted to include them in this. This was £395, which is really expensive. Th 93, why do I keep wanting to say 30 all the time? 93% viscose, 7% polyester. This one I got in my usual size, 36. I actually don't remember my own thinking behind that when I've sized up in the rest of them. But it wasn't a bad move because it fits really well. I'm wondering if maybe the description online said that it comes oversized and so that's what made me make that decision. But no regrets on that front. This is navy blue. This is the only one where I can't think off the top of my head where it comes in black. Um, again, fully lined the whole way through. Has these lovely silver buttons on the cuffs, which I really like. Uh, shoulder pads, but very minimal. Really the most minimal of all so far. A deep vent through the back too. Uh, pockets as well. I haven't mentioned pockets on the other, but I think they all have them. 
Uh, this fabric feels like, almost feels like a slubbed silk. Obviously it's not, and it doesn't look like silk, but it has that texture to it, which is really difficult to describe. That's the best way I can describe it. It feels like a slubbed silk. Um, it's really, really lightweight. I would say, you'll see again from the cutaway, but it is kind of a really nice fit, even though I've gone for my own size. A size up would also look good because it would be oversized. Uh, but I think it looks great. Uh, this one has two buttons as well. The first two, the weekday and the Arquette one, just have one button to fasten it. The Simo one double breasted. This one is single breasted, but with two buttons and pretty damn expensive, but not as expensive as our top one, which is Totem. I really wanted to include them in this because um, I think they're pretty known for their tailoring. And I bought a jacket from them at the beginning of last year, pre-lockdown, and the quality was dreadful. The jacket was over £700 as well, it wasn't leather, it was so expensive, I really liked it so I got it, it arrived, I loved it, and I mean I still wear it, but like for running to the shops and stuff because it's knackered, and I've had it for just over a year. So I was really unimpressed by that and basically swore myself off toe 10, even though aesthetically I love it, their quality was just so disappointing in that one. So I wanted to include them in this, just to see what their blazers were like in the new collection as well, especially after a disappointing experience off the back of having so many positive experiences with the brand as well. They also do this in black, but I got the ivory color just because I've got a lot of black blazers here. This one is 100% viscose and was 610 pounds. Very, very, very expensive. Um, size wise, I have 38, so one up again. This texture wise is really stiff and heavy I don't know what to liken it to. I'm hoping you can kind of see through the texture of it there, but it's got a real stiffness to it. Um, it has no lapel, so it's quite different to the others. It's fully lined, light shoulder pads, no buttons or anything, no vent through the back. And again, like a really nice split through the sleeve here. Um, it is beautiful, the fit of it is beautiful. It feels really smart and instantly kind of, it does make it feel more luxurious, just because I think it looks so smart. The cut's great. Um, and yeah, it's kind of got a light sheen through the fabric as well, which I also think adds to how fancy and it just feels really smart, this piece. Um, but yeah, it's a really great fit and ridiculously expensive. It's £610. Totem has definitely gotten more expensive. Okay, so you know the drill from here on in. I've been wearing them all over two weeks and you're going to see that now. An outfit with each one, a very repetitive outfit. I hasten to add and I apologise. <laughs> Uh, and then I'm not going to dry clean them or anything because I wouldn't not ever dry clean a blazer after one wear unless I had made a massive mess of it, which I haven't to any of these. So yeah, no cleaning on these ones and then I will come back at the end and share my final thoughts. Hello guys. I've just come off the tube, which has draggled me, but I've been wearing the Totem blazer with a Uniqlo long sleeve t-shirt with a nice breast pocket. My Philippe K Trues, which you've seen numerous times. Converse, which are really old. Um, this is the whole get up. This jacket feels really, really smart. I don't know if it's just because I'm not so used to wearing blazers, but this one is an exceptionally smart one. The cut of it is beautiful. I thought it would wrinkle more than it has because it's really quite stiff feeling. Um, so I just thought it would crease really badly. And like I said, I've been sat on the tube for a good half an hour and it hasn't. So that's very good. Um, the cut's beautiful. I really love the sleeves. It feels expensive. I think it looks expensive. I think the shade of the kind of creamy ivory is really nice. I, the only thing I'm not loving about it is just because it looks so fancy. I, I felt, I've just felt massively overdressed today. Um, which I don't want to be too rep repetitive, but it's partly just because I haven't been, none of us have really had anything to get dressed up for for so long, have we? Um, but equally, it does feel really, really smart. It kind of feels like the blazer you would buy if you had like an occasion, not a wedding, because it's obviously the wrong colour for a wedding, but you know, if you were going somewhere and you had an occasion and then you'd have it in your wardrobe forevermore and bring it out for fancier times. Um, it's not one that I think is going to be easy to wear day to day. And so much of that is in the texture of it, which is also what makes it really special. So the things that I'm criticising it for are also what makes it feel and look lovely. I'm impressed with the quality, I really am. I thought I was going to slate the quality after recent Totem experiences. I won't say the brand is fully back in my good books, but um, the quality has 
has held up um, and I do think the cut and the shape of it is beautiful. It's just not going to be an everyday piece for me and had I not been filming this video it would probably be the kind of thing I would have sent back just because I don't see how often I'm going to wear it in the near future and obviously it's coming with a hefty price tag. Um, I've liked this outfit and everything. I like the fact it's not too oversized and all of that. It is just really fancy and really smart. Uh, so if you're after a blazer that is those things, which will be well within your rights, after, after all that's what we want from a blazer, then this is a great one, but uh, just for my own personal lifestyle in the near future, I'm not sure how much wear I'm going to get out of it. Hello guys, another day, another blazer. This time we're on the weekday one. I'm wearing an Arquette t-shirt, a like waterproofy, really nice top, which I'm obsessed with actually, from Riley Studios. Weekday jeans, Adidas sambas. Um, I do really like this blazer. I think in terms of the cut, it isn't as nice as the Arquette one, but for its price, it is lovely. It definitely, the material feels a lot more like, um, like cottony, like closer to a t-shirt material. So it does feel less premium than the others, shall we say. But I think for the price, the cut of it is really nice. Um, it's nice and boxy. It has got shoulder pads in it. So that, I mean, is totally personal preference, whether you like something like that or not. Um, and yeah, it, it, it kind of has creased a fair bit. You can sort of see the light there. Um, so it doesn't feel like it holds, the fabric doesn't hold as well, especially like compared to the Totem one. I know I said yesterday how that really doesn't, um, crease too badly at all but all in all for the price I think it's a really great blazer like I said similar in style and cut and everything to the Arquette one and I don't think I think the, the Arquette one feels like it's worth the extra amount of money that there that it costs and this one definitely does feel uh it, I can tell it's the cheapest one is what I'm trying to say but I still think it's great so that doesn't mean necessarily that it feels cheap as such it just definitely doesn't feel as expensive as the others um, here's the full look. I look the same every day. Another day, another blazer, as the saying goes. Got a lot of colour action going on today. Um, Arquette t-shirt, Arquette jumper, Arquette jeans actually. Old Loewe Espadrille loafers, who remembers these? I've had them for years. And Philip K blazer. Um, one second, I have had this differently all day. So what I like about this is why I've got the collar up is this little button here and it does look really nice with the collar down as well. I will show you both but I wanted to show you that collar up option because it's just, it looks really nice especially just with the t-shirt. Obviously this jumper's got the collar on so it's too much collar to wear it up like that today. Um, but yeah, I really like this blazer. I really like the silver buttons on the cuff. The material's really nice. It kind of has like a slubbed texture to it. Again, that button's just poking out in a really nice way. Um, I think the fit of it's great. It's nicely oversized, but not too oversized. Really great length for me. Really great tailoring. Really, really, really great, basically. I think, to say, what's the price difference? Like 200 quid less than the Totem. Totem does feel more expensive. This also does feel more expensive than the other three, like the Massimo, the Arquette, and the, um, weekday you can definitely tell there's a difference in the quality uh this a lot of it is just in how it feels like it hangs on the body um but i would say especially comparing to the arquette one which i think is a great fit not sure this is worth how much more money it is but it's a really beautiful blazer really will get a lot of wear out of this definitely and i love the fact it's navy blue and um it's just a great length basically and the right balance between tailored and oversized they really have nailed it um and it's as always it's beautiful brand and the quality is gorgeous silver buttons definitely for the win as well i had my hair like up with sunglasses on like a headband and so this is the fringe we're working with which i also really need to cut um today is our cut blazer day i've just been to get coffee been to the shops literally the same stuff <laughs> every day um, and it's in this lovely pistachio colour have on it just Uniqlo cashmere Arquette t-shirt Gap jeans Adidas sambas sorry for how repetitive it is but life is repetitive um, 
I really like this blazer. I think of all the more affordable ones, this one just sits in a way that feels really lovely. The fabric's really lovely. Um, it's like got nice oversized shoulders, but not too much. I think the shape of it's really great. I think it feels more on the oversized size, no, more on the oversized side comparatively to the Massimo one, um, which is the only one I've got left to wear, and also the Philippa K one, and the Totem actually. This feels more similar in shape to the weekday, but also a much nicer shape. Um, I do really like the colour. I think I said this at the beginning of the video, but they do this in black and I wouldn't have gone for this colour had I not already had two black blazers from Arquette. I like the colour but I think for me personally this won't be a piece that I wear, reach for that often just because the colour feels like quite a statement. But it does look really nice with just jeans like this and obviously this outfit is just so dull. I'm aware of how repetitive my outfits are just for day to day wear. Um, whereas then putting something on like this over the top does make it feel quite nice and exciting. Um, love the colour of the button with it. That is just a small detail that I really like. It's also got nice split cuffs and things. Um, so all in all, really impressed by it, as I expected to be, because Arquette do 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 great tailoring. Um, so I've just got the Massimo Duty one to wear left, and then we, sh we shall be on to the final reviews. All right, guys, last one. Um, this similarly to the, this is Massimo Duty one, sorry. Similarly to the Totem one, uh, yeah, that's right, feels really smart to me. The Totem one, for all the reasons I discussed, I won't go over it again. But this one, just because it's slightly more fitted through the waist than the others. Um, it's got a really nice big lapel, which I like. I do like the double breasted feature. I think, I would say, actually, it's relatively small. I think in the intro, I said it, I think, I think it fits true to size. To say this is a size up for me, it's pretty tight under the armpits. I could have gone two sizes up, so I'm actually going to recommend you go at least one size up because um, it also fits quite snug on the shoulders and things. So I think I'm going to say it runs quite small to size. Um, I've just got it on today with an Arquette knit weekday row jeans, some row sandals from last um, summer via the Outnet. Um, and yeah, this is... I feel like it has quite a different feel to the other ones just because of that. It's only the slightest bit of fittedness, but overall it makes it really different. Um, and it's definitely something that I'm gonna hang on to because because it's so smart. I feel like, especially even if you just had like a boot heel with this, you'd suddenly be really like ready to go for dinner or something, or even actually like this in these shoes, I'd go for somewhere like a nice dinner dress like this. Um, whereas something like the weekday one, to compare it to the one of the black ones that I've got here is, is not different enough to ones that I've already got in my wardrobe, basically. But then, in the same breath, this isn't the kind of blazer I'd wear every day. Again, without being too repetitive, I'm just so not used to feeling smart and dressed up at the moment, and this does feel very smart. Uh, I think the fit of it is really great, though, and is really, really, really flattering. And it's a nice mix between being oversized and a bit smarter. So if you're after something for work, this might actually be better than any of the others. Um, but it definitely won't be the one that I will get the most day-to-day -day wear out of. That feels like quite a convoluted review. Hello guys. Right, let's do the final thoughts on this. Um, I've just been sat staring into space for a while trying to decide what order to put these in. And I've decided in last place I'm gonna put the Philippa K, uh, which no one expected, long leaves me, as I'm such a big fan of the brand. And I do think it's a beautiful blazer. I do think, um, obviously, Philippa K is a sustainable brand as well, which I feel needs to be considered as the fact that it is more expensive too um but because i haven't done all sustainable brands i don't want to necessarily give brownie points there because i haven't made that level playing field um but it's I guess it's important to note that might be a contributing factor to the price however to say this was what was this 395 pounds 365 pounds something like that over 300 quid so the fit and everything compared to like the arquette even the weekday um, the Massimo Duty one. It's just, it's a beautiful blazer, but it just doesn't feel worth that much money when I, you know, it's so much money basically. And um, it doesn't, it's beautiful finish and it fits great and everything, but it just doesn't feel special enough to be worth such a high price tag. So I'm gonna put that in last place, which I really didn't expect to myself to do basically. Um, Cause like I said, I'm such a big fan of the brand. Um, I know what my first place one is. I think next, I am torn between putting the Massimo Duty one next and the Totem one. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna put toe 10 next because again it's super expensive. The only reason I haven't put this in last place is because I do think it looks and feels a lot more special than the Philippa K one, despite there's still like a 300 pound price difference or 200 and something pound price difference. I can't do that maths. Um, it does feel and look more expensive in my opinion. And I think if you had to close your eyes or look at them and not know the brands, you would pick this one out as the most expensive just on how it looks and how it feels and all of that. So for that reason, it does feel more worth the high price tag. But still, I don't really think you need to go spend £600 on a great blazer. I really, really don't. And I think if you had like an event or something or something really special where you needed something like this, it does come with suit trousers as well. This would be a great piece to treat yourself to maybe. But I don't think it's going to be hugely versatile also because of the colour of it. And it just feels really, 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 really dressy. And I think it's a lot of money for something that isn't necessarily going to be an everyday piece. So that's toe 10 in the next spot. Um, obviously it's worth adding that I haven't had any, any issue with like the quality of any of these or anything falling apart. In the next spot, I'm gonna put the Massimo Duty one. Um, I know I talked about the fit quite a lot of this and just trying to sort of step outside my personal preference, which would, in terms of the fit of them, this is my least favorite, just because it is slightly more fitted and feels very tailored. And at the moment I prefer something more oversized. Um, but I do think it is beautifully tailored if that was something that you wanted. I think the sizing of this is a bit off. This is the only one that I think is running really small to size. I would say I've got one size up and actually I probably should have got two sizes up. I would recommend going one size up if you just want it to fit normally and then two if you want it to be a bit more oversized because um, it's definitely running small to size. Uh, but the cut of it is really beautiful if you're after a blazer like this. And I think for the price tag, it looks really expensive. If you put this next to the Philippa K one, while I much prefer the cut of the Philippa K one personally for what I am enjoying wearing at the moment, I do think that this does look like it could be as expensive and how it's been cut and all of that. Um, so yeah, a great blazer. It's definitely one that I'm going to keep in my wardrobe. I also am really aware that I might not always be really into oversized blazers and we might all start to prefer something more tailored in seasons to come. So it's definitely a piece that I would hold on to. Um, and that extra added tailoring does make it feel quite smart. It's really hard to imagine getting dressed up smart, isn't it, at the moment as well. In second place, I'm gonna put the weekday one. I do think this looks and feels the most affordable, the cheapest, basically. I think the cut isn't as great as the rest. However, when I consider how much cheaper it is, I think it's a really great blazer for 45 pounds. Um, I would definitely wear it a lot. I don't think it looks cheap. I just want to make that clear. It just definitely compared to the others. Like let's consider the Philippa K one, which I put in last place. There is no doubt that the Philippa K one feels, looks way more expensive. However, to say there's like a 300 pound price difference, that's huge. And I just don't know that it looks that much more expensive. I think this is a good, good, good blazer for the price that it's at. Um, and yeah, it has a really nice fit to it. It's just, it's nothing to write home about, but it's a great solid black blazer coming in at a really affordable price point. And like I said at the beginning, I was surprised to how difficult I found it to find blazers at that sort of price point. Even places like And Other Stories, they were all coming in at around hundred pounds. So to say this is 45 pounds, definitely think that's a great piece. Which leads to the first place with the Arquette one. Um, I, like I said, have this in black already, so don't be put off by this colour if you're after a black blazer. I will link the black one in the description box. But it's just so good. Like, it looks and feels more expensive than the weekday one, but so much more expensive. What's How much was this again? I can't remember. £145 or something? 150 and so there's a £100 difference. It looks more expensive than that. Um, I think it is really like holding par with the Philippa K one again. Um, in the cut of it, the length of it, the style of it, the fabric feels great. Um, it's just a really, 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 really good blazer. And it does have a slight unfair advantage because like I said numerous times, I have the black one and I've had it for a while. So I could also vouch for the fact that it just wears really well long term as well. Um, and if you want a black blazer or a colour blazer, obviously, then just, I think just go to Arquette is what I'm going to say. I think it's the best place for high street tailoring at a price that is enough to know you're getting a really good quality piece, but looks even more expensive than the price that you're paying for it, which I think is really important in tailoring. Whew. So that concludes this testing basics. The next one we're going to do is tank tops. Um, let me know if there's any specific brands. I haven't bought any for this video yet. So do let me know if there's any brands you really like to see. Um, I got some from the line by K that maybe I could include actually, but let me know what you would like. 
Um, everything will be linked in the description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.